Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2017 Nissan NV200 cargo van. It has 65,525 miles on it. Front end looks really good. Very, very few rock chips, almost zero, and they're all very tiny on that lower uh, lip. Bottom end of the front bumper. The rest of the bumper is in great condition. No rock chips on the hood. Few paint matched blemishes right here just above the Nissan logo, but very, very difficult to see. Front end looks awesome. Looking at the front driver's side fender area. Just a few super tiny rock chips that are almost not noticeable. Front driver's side wheel does have a broken hubcap, but those are about $10 to replace maybe. And they do break uh, quite often. They're very susceptible to damage from rocks on the freeway. So I'm not gonna say there's really a huge point in replacing those because they probably will break again. Uh, driver's side mirror looks excellent. Very tiny scratch, very tiny rock chip, very superficial. Driver's side door. We do have a blemish there. It's been not paint matched very well. That white is a lot darker, so that does uh, kind of make it somewhat more visible, but it still doesn't really stand out. Looking at the rear driver's side sliding door. It's very small defect up here. Rear driver's side quarter panel, very small mark there. Very small marks there and there. Not very noticeable at all. Van looks great. Rear driver's side wheel, tire and the hubcap, everything look really good. Moving along to the back here on the lower portion of the back bumper, we do have some marks. And these are, um, you, you can feel them in the actual material. So these are kind of marred. This isn't something that would buff out. The back two cargo doors look pretty good. Passenger side does have a dent and some blemishes there just above the license plate bracket. This one does have a little bit of scuffing about in the middle as well. But between that and the very light wear on the back bumper, I'd say the back end looks pretty good considering the vast majority of used work vans are pretty tore up. It's exciting that this one is as clean as it is. So looking at the passenger rear quarter panel area, this one is super clean. Rear passenger wheel and hubcap, this one has been cracked and has a chunk missing out of it. Again, these are very susceptible to damage, they're very fragile, so they break all the time. There's really no point in replacing them. It's not an integral part of the wheel, it's just a beauty cover for it, but it's hubcaps are pointless. Rear passenger sliding door looks really good, no defects. Front passenger door looks great. Uh, does have a few marks down here in the lower portion, very small. Driver pair passenger here looks really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Front passenger fender looks great. I do apologize for the wind. It's a very, very windy day. Front passenger wheel looks really good. So I'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better overall idea of the condition of this van. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we do these comprehensive walk around videos to help give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to own the vehicle yourself and helps distinguish these smaller, less significant flaws from the bigger, more obvious ones. So hopefully by me walking around the vehicle from a one foot distance, you have a better overall understanding of the condition that this van is in. Well, let's go ahead and check out the interior. It does have keyless entry. 
So on the inside, we do have a uh, nice and simple black and gray interior. It's all kind of plastic, whatever that interior, interior material is. Uh, cloth seats, it does have a little bit of leather trim on the outside of both seats, which is kind of weird, it's not symmetrical. So this side is cloth, but this side is leather. Uh, Nissan just trying to be different, I guess. But the seats are in awesome condition, they look brand new, they are manual, they are not power seats. It does have a smart drive keypad. Turnkey start, it is gonna throw a warning for fuel because we are pretty low. But other than that, no warnings, it's in good shape. We do have navigation, single zone climate control. Cup holders are nice and clean. It does have vinyl flooring that is in perfect shape throughout the entire van, uh, which is a plus. Definitely makes storing things and cleaning up anything that may happen. Uh, very simple. You do have one touch windows for both sides. Pretty great. And here on the odometer, we're reading 65, 525, just like I said at the beginning. Passenger seat looks really good. Got nowhere in the passenger seat, both door panels are mint. Dash looks great. So let's go ahead and check out the rear storage area of the van. What everybody's interested to see. So these sliding doors, they move pretty freely. They lock nice and secure. They don't go anywhere. So here's the rear storage area of the van. I do apologize for my camera gear back there and detailing stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just nice and open. The flooring is in great condition. Looks really good. Camera's kind of exaggerating some of the wear. I promise you it looks way better in person. All the walls are nice and clean. Nothing scuffed or, you know, it looks like the van has been treated really, really well. So we do have this sliding door here, that door slides, and then two barn doors in the back that open up. So we've got these that open up. Nice and wide, tons of storage room. And then we've got this sliding door as well. Slides right open with no issue. So that is the interior of the van. Let's go ahead and have a look at the engine bay. Paired with a CVT transmission, so it's very efficient, gets great fuel economy. The engine sounds very healthy, the transmission, uh, I mean, it doesn't really shift, but you know, it behaves how it's supposed to. Uh, keeps the RPMs really consistent. It's not erratic, it's not all over the place, it doesn't feel like it's slipping or it's powered down how it needs to. It, it feels really solid. Overall, this is a very, very clean van. It's in great condition, very practical, really good fuel economy, tons of storage, and a low price to boot. This is an excellent van for anyone who uh, needs something practical to 
haul stuff with. So that is our 2017 Nissan NV200 cargo van. If you have any further questions, please check out this van on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.